customer called for a leak and relief valve on a hot water boiler. Now, a couple things cause that. First thing is this um, fill valve. Fill valve allows um, the pressure in the house to get reduced to 12 PSI. Once this goes bad, it can make the, uh, the pressure in your boiler go too high. The second thing is your expansion tank. If that um, diaphragm breaks, it won't allow for expansion. We also noticed when we got here that the backflow preventer is capped, which is a big no-no. This is the only thing that protects your drinking water. So we're going to be installing a new one of these. And also, we change out the relief valve because once that pops, sometimes it doesn't seal back up. So we'll just change it out. Now, I know some of the guys are going to say, just tap that relief valve. It'll reset it. Look how bad this is. Look how bad this is. Can't even open it. It won't even open. It's seized ugh, completely. If you listen to this chugging, hear this chugging? That's because this expansion thing is completely waterlogged. And when it's waterlogged, it can't hold the expansion. Son of a... That wasn't that fun because it's very hard to get that expansion tank out. Now, a number 60 tank, I think, is a little oversized for this house, but it was what was originally here. And with service, sometimes, sometimes it's better just to put what was working than to try something new and have a problem that's going to cost the customer even more money in the future. So in this situation, I think a number 60 is going to be fine.
this valve is shot, so being that we drained the whole system down, we have to go ahead to uh, just replace it. Make our lives easier later. It's leaking everywhere once the uh, valve is off. Now for the moment of truth, we're going to turn the water on and see if there's any leaks. But if there's any leaks, you're never going to know because I'll edit it out. Just kidding, there's no leaks. So when we're purging, what we're doing is we're taking the city pressure, we're forcing it through the system, going up the supply, then it comes down the return, we shut off the return, and we're getting all the air out before it gets back into the system. <laughs> 